It's a vital part of Division I athletics, the road trip. This past weekend, I took to the road with Ohio women's soccer to see what one of these trips was really like. So what's there to do on a five-hour road trip? Well, you can drive, read, or most likely make a replica of your opponent's logo out of food items. So with the contest underway, a quick stop at Kroger was in order, and figuring out a strategy became the name of the game. The strategy is not to waste our time talking about strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Back on the bus, things were getting heated, and stopping for dinner meant the competition had come to a close. I like this team just because they're, 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 the they're close. close. Yeah, the yeah. proximity. Following a short presentation from each group, the judges had made their decisions. While the replicas didn't make it back on the bus, the players were hoping these two small victories were a sign of things to come. A quick turnaround from Thursday night to Friday morning saw the Bobcats gearing up for Game 1 against Eastern Michigan University. Let all the frustrations and everything else go away, whatever it might be, and just play soccer. You know, it's frustrating when they're able to execute, you know, in the final 20 minutes what they should have done from the first minute on. With a loss in the books, it was once again back to the bus, next stop Kalamazoo. A late Friday night was met by an off day on Saturday, but that didn't slow these cats down one bit. A video session followed by training left Ohio crisp and ready for Sunday's game against Western Michigan University. But the student in student athlete is often overlooked, and between the games, practices, and bus rides, there is some downtime. So a little studying was most certainly in order, and the players made some time for a movie or two and making fun of the cameraman. With the final day of the road trip upon them, Ohio was locked in and ready to secure their first win of the trip. So Ohio soccer played 68 minutes, and then the game got postponed. Right now, it's about 3.20. We only have until four o'clock. Uh, the refs deem the field unplayable right now. I'm not really sure why. These Bobcats worked as hard as they could to get the field in playing condition and even inspired this reporter to help out just a bit. However, their efforts would be in vain as time would run out. But I quickly learned that even though there wouldn't be a finish to the game, there was still some fun to be had. Finally, it was back to the bus and back to work on the long road trip to Athens. When all was said and done, Ohio had spent four days on the road. And yet, while it was a whirlwind for someone on the outside, it was just another weekend in the life of a student athlete.